going to show you guys how I do our uh, butter dinner rolls for dinner. It's the same thing as the video that I posted before for the bread rolls. I mean, for the bread, loaves of bread that I made. But this time, I'm going to show you how we do the rolls. So again, we want two cups of water. Hot water. The hottest your tap will go. And I always put this in first. Again, why? Because it will make it to where all the ingredients will not get stuck at the bottom of the dish because we want everything incorporated equally. And then we want four cups of white flour. And two cups of wheat. And then I'm going to actually add, be adding some flaxseed, but you guys don't need to add this. I just add it in for my family. And I only added like barely one third cup of the flaxseed. Like I said, you don't have to add that. And then we are going to do one heaping table, uh, tablespoon of salt. So that way the honey slides right out of the cup and you don't have to scrape this little thing for the honey. And one third cup of honey. And it comes right out. Everything comes out. And then we want one and a half tablespoons of yeast. And this is the instant yeast, the commercial yeast. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can use, also use the rapid rise. Now we're gonna stir everything and get everything incorporated before we put it onto the KitchenAid mixer. And the reason we're putting it on a KitchenAid mixer is because it makes it to where you don't have to uh, knead the dough a lot. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, just knead your dough. After you uh, stir it all together, get it incorporated as best you can with your spatula. Just scraping everything off of the spatula here to make sure we get all ingredients. Make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl as well. And we're just going to do this for a couple of minutes till it's all incorporated and all mixed in really good. dry dough let it be a little sticky if it's too sticky add more flour if it's too dry add some more add a little bit more water like mine is just a little too sticky so we are going to add a little more flour as I go <coughs> There 
go. That's actually perfect. So we're going to knead it a couple of times just to get it a little more mixed. Make sure it's still a little sticky. Not, not like deathly sticky, but sticky. And then all we are going to do now is this. And we're gonna let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna get a towel, well, a kitchen towel. And I'm gonna get it as wet as I can with hot water, the hottest your towel will go. Bring it out as best you can where it's not dripping wet like this, where it's not dripping wet, but it's damp enough to cover this. And we are gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna let it double in size and then we will come back. So now we are going to roll them out and put them into the pan. I already greased it, got it ready to go. As you can see, doubled in size. And we're just gonna give it a quick knead, like one or two times. And start rolling them out. We are going to roll, if you can see that, about the size of a golf ball maybe. And we're just gonna set it in the pan. And we are gonna put them about a couple centimeters apart like this because we are going to let them rise one more time on the stove as the stove is heating. Because the heat from the stove as it preheats will help these to rise and become nice and fluffy. And then while I do this, I'll actually fast forward this a little bit so that way you guys ain't sitting here through the whole thing of me just rolling it.
Okay, so when you're done, it should be like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take it over to the stove. Okay, so we're back, and as you guys can see, they doubled in size again. So now we are going to slide them into the oven. And remember, at 350. And when they are about five minutes from being done, I will pull them out, and I will uh, butter the top of them and add some Parmesan cheese over the top. And I will show you guys how I do that as well. They are all done pulled out of the oven see how delicious they are nice and soft and I already sprinkled the Parmesan cheese and the um, butter and I did that about five minutes before I took them out and then I buttered them again uh, after I took them out um, so yeah and they were in there for probably about 30 35 minutes 